Aki's USB-C to HDMI cable allows you to connect your MacBook to your TV. So here in my hand is the Aki USB-C to HDMI cable. This is the HDMI end of the cable. Uh, it's a pretty simple cable. It's just an HDMI connector on one side. And on the opposite end, you have the USB-C connector. And that's just a normal USB-C connector. Looks like this. The nice thing about this cable is that it's relatively long. It is 1.8 meters long, which is about 5.9 feet. So in most cases, it should be long enough to reach to your TV from your MacBook. Now, Aki does include a little cap that goes over the HDMI connector, but outside of that and some instructions and a warranty card, there isn't much else in the box, which is okay because it's just a simple cable. It goes from your USB-C enabled MacBook to your HDMI enabled television or monitor. So all you need to do is plug in the USB-C portion into your MacBook and plug in the HDMI portion into your television or monitor, just like this. Now, if you read the fine print in the instructions, you're already aware that there is a limitation when it comes to higher resolutions like 4K, for instance. You're gonna notice that the refresh rate maxes out at 30 Hertz. So that's not really gonna cut it for day-to-day -day usage on a PC, for instance. One of the reasons for this is that HDMI alt mode for USB-C only supports HDMI 1.4B, not the HDMI 2.0, which would be needed for 4K at 60 Hertz. So that means that Aki's USB-C to HDMI cable isn't really great for connecting to a computer monitor, but if you're connecting to a television at full HD 1080p, then you can have 60 Hertz. So if you're using a monitor at 1080p, or if you're watching television at 1080p, this is probably gonna work pretty well for you. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is Aki's USB-C to HDMI cable. It's about 20 bucks and you can find it down below in the description. It's not great for connecting to computer monitors at high resolutions, but it definitely works for HDTV full 1080p. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe because for the rest of this month, every day at 7 p.m., my goal is to post a new video. We're gonna cover things like this eGPU box, this other eGPU box, and things like the Lemetric Time, for instance, this little thing right here that actually shows you your YouTube subscribers in real time, which is really cool. Are you one of those subscribers? Check back tomorrow at 7 p.m. for another one.